Hello everyone, my name is Mackenzie Stick. I am the Director of Admission for the Creighton University School of Pharmacy and Health Professions. Today, we are going to talk about a stressful topic or potentially stressful topic, which is writing your personal statement for your application to the Doctor of Pharmacy, Doctor of Physical Therapy, or Doctor of Occupational Therapy program. Writing an essay for a lot of students can be like, really, really, really stress inducing. You're wondering, what should I write about? How should I write it? How long should it be? And so a lot of the time, you know, you're just not quite sure where to get started. You obviously have some, probably some really good resources available to you, but I also want to provide you with some guidelines because I see every day what the admission committees look for in a really well-written personal statement. The good news about the essay or the personal statement is that the CAS systems, OTCAS, PTCAS, and PharmCAS, actually provide you with question prompts. So you're not required to develop this essay out of thin air. You'll have some guidelines and some areas of topic that they will ask you to address. The other th good news is that this is your opportunity to shine, to tell your story, to make sure that you're giving us a glimpse into you that your transcripts may not give us or that any other piece of your application may not give us. So these are just some guidelines that I can offer you based on what I see the admission committee looking for in a really well-written personal statement. The first thing I'm gonna tell you, and this is gonna sound kind of strange, but make it personal. A lot of the time, people focus so much on trying to write professionally that they forget that this is an opportunity for them to tell their personal story. So don't shy away from why you're passionate about pharmacy, physical therapy, or occupational therapy. Don't shy away from your knowledge, what you've been doing. Have you been shadowing in a, in a setting uh, related to your profession? Those kinds of things are really important to the admission committee. They want to know, number one, why do you want to be a pharmacist, occupational therapist, or physical therapist? That is the number one question your essay should answer or your personal statement should answer. So don't shy away from that. If you spend all this time talking about what you've researched about the profession and don't tie that in to your passion for and knowledge of the profession, you'll have really miss the mark with regard to that, that personal statement. So keep it personal, tell your story. On that same note though, don't make it too personal. And I know that kind of sounds crazy. There's a little bit of a balance there that you need to achieve. So what I mean by that is if you have a really, really long story related to your interest, that's great. Uh, but we don't need every single detail. You can kind of summarize the story and then tie it in, spend the good majority of your time tying it into why that profession is the right one for you. I get a lot of questions about length. So that's the second thing I want to address with regard to the personal statement. So again, it's one of those 50-50 things again, not too long, not too short. If it's too long, we're gonna get lost. Think about the fact that the admission committee that's reviewing your application reviews hundreds of these files every single year. And so if it gets to be too long or you, you kind of get lost and, and there's really not a concise theme or idea, they're gonna kind of get lost in it too. So make sure that when you're writing that, that you have a friend, a colleague, uh, someone review it to make sure that there's some clear cut ideas and there's a concise point to it. At the same time, if it's this teeny tiny short little paragraph, it's gonna show the admission committee that you didn't necessarily put a lot of time or effort into that writing. So make sure that you kind of have a nice balance. People say, well, how many pages should that be? I think if you're getting over a page, you're probably getting a little too long, but if you're under a paragraph or under a couple paragraphs, it's probably a little too short. So I would try to kind of keep it in that three quarters of a page to a page long, if at all possible. If it goes a little over, as long as it's concise and the ideas are there, I wouldn't panic on it. But there are no word counts um, other than the CAS system requirements, and I'm not even sure what those are. You would have to check with them. There are no word counts uh, or anything like that that we're really that concerned about. Really, that's, that's the bottom line with regard to writing that essay. Keep it personal, not too long, not too short. And remember, the admission committee 
just wants to get to know you better. And I'm speaking for all three programs here. There, there aren't any secrets or tricks or anything like that. So just make sure that you're putting, putting it all out there, that, that you're making sure that that passion and that knowledge shines through. So that's a little bit about the personal statement. Make sure that if you have additional questions, give us a call. Also, just make sure that you uh, are utilizing friends, families, academic career centers, different resources that are at your disposal to get help with that personal statement should you need some. Thanks so much for tuning in today and have a good time writing.